So one of the reasons that we use geocaching on our refuges is a way to connect people to nature with technology. So we don't actually have geocaches that are actually on the refuge, but we use geocaching as a marketing tool because you can use geocaching.com and put an event out on that site and it says, come to the refuge, um, we're having a geocaching event. People will come and it's people that may not know about a National Wildlife Refuge. They get there and we're able to meet and greet a brand new audience and let them know about the National Wildlife Refuge system. The one thing you cannot put in a geocache is food. And being Fish and Wildlife Service, that makes total sense to us because we don't want animals getting into that. Um, Each group of people that come to us to a geocaching event, they are using technology, but they're going outside. And so it's a way to blend those two things, connecting people with nature, and it goes along with America's great outdoors. It gets people outside, but it's also using technology, which the younger generation, as we know, is very tech-oriented, and so um, they're using a GPS unit. But you can also use your phone, because most smartphones are GPS-enabled. So geocaching might be a new term to people. Geocaching events might be a new term to to people, but the whole idea is to use a program that's out there that's available to our visitors and use it as a marketing tool to teach them about our refuges.